Uh, we were looking at building maybe like a one to four model, mm -hmm. a one to five model, and then um, building a kiln around that in kind of like dug up clay from Hook Park. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm talking about that. You can't fly out of scale, can't you? Yeah. You can't get a fire at one to fifty scale. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying that either side is right or wrong or anything like that. I'm just, I just want, I'm interested in the conflict between the kind of practical interest and the kind of nostalgic craftsmanship aspect of it. And the underlying thesis on my whole project is that labor is um, made obsolete by automation. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that we will all like, just chill and like become artists and you know, do fun things or whatever. I, uh, what I believe is that we will continue doing whatever we need to do. It's just that the intention will be different. We won't be doing it for remuneration and therefore it evolves into a craft as opposed to staying a form of labor. Yeah. So um, this video was just exploring kind of um, what death is in the city. So um, I was in the ancient woodlands, I was looking at the death of an tree and how um, after an oak tree dies, it actually becomes a lot more um, integral to the forest in terms of um, being uh, nutrient to the soil and to the other animals. Um, and yeah, I was looking at these listed buildings in London and how they're going to paralyze in, in, in place. You can't touch them, you can't fix them. It's just a way of preserving that um, London is set in place. Um, and if you look at a map of listed buildings in London, it's like every second building is listed, including... Well, when you say London, what do you mean by uh, London? The greater, like, a whole greater. greater. Not just the city of London. The kind of average li lifespan of a building is about 30 years, and the average time it takes for an oak tree to grow um, big enough to be used as timber is about 30 years. So um, I'm looking to this kind of cycle of growing enough material to build up a building, you know, this 30 year cycle of building and demolishing um, buildings in place. And uh, tying in London clay, uh, I was looking into how um, in fire wood burns and it gets destroyed, but um, in clay it actually strengthens with fire. So um, in putting these two elements together, how we can uh, build a building up with this kind of wooden structure that helps to be deconstructed with fire, but then also including this clay ceramic element that strengthens with its depth and what is left of it is its preservation. And on both our projects, we're looking at kind of the material of clay and the ritual of fire, uh, because both of them, like for mine, obviously, because I'm in a ceramics based town. <laughs> Um, but also, uh, I'm personally writing for HDS a manifesto on um, the death of the open flame or the eradication of the open flame from our daily lives and the kind of effect that that has had on um, the social fabric. So, the specific example, I mean, one, one specific example would be like the Great Fire of London was started by a single baker who left his oven on, according to Drunk History, because we were watching yeah. Drunk History. <laughs> I mean, this was just a very kind of beginning processes of, of trying to figure out, you know, how to basically set a building on fire in the middle of the city. How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> um. So it's this uh, idea that with, with the death of the open flame and the death of that threat, uh, what we've lost is a sense of mutual accountability. So, you know, you, you, you know someone being callous is not going to be that big a problem for everyone else in our current era. Um, so we're looking at bringing back kind of this ritual of fire, uh, and that's where we came up with this exploratory drawing, which basically looks at a couple of different rituals of fire. One of them, which we are proposing at the, at the top, is something that we're both interested in exploring in our projects. Um, the idea of building um, a, a clay-based um, structure and then setting that on fire. We're uh, setting the infrastructure, which is made of wood, on fire to create uh, something more permanent. To a purely imaginary realm with mm -hmm. fire right I mean, flames just aren't like that, you know. It's neat about this. It was weird. It was neat about 14th, 14th century drawings as well as the proportions of human beings who weren't white and everything. So all of a sudden, these things take on all weird lives as opposed to real ones. Mm -hmm. So maybe the material experimentation, I guess then you bring it to some kind of, let's say, level of kind of 
pragmatism. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't let, I wouldn't get burdened in that, yeah. for yeah. example, yeah. because I like the kind of, I, I think the drawing is really captivating. I'm not sure what a birthday cake's doing on the book. It's another ritual of fire. I know, all rituals of fire. But I think the drawing is captivating for its naivety, which yeah. also is really critical. Yeah. 